This is three dog. How can I help? It is finally here. We've been waiting for anything, any little piece of information about Mass Effect Andromeda. We've been waiting for months, and today, EA Play, we got to see a new trailer. It's a couple of minutes long. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it, because I wanted to share. I wanted to open up my heart a little bit about what I felt. Um, this is Andy from VGS. We spent so much time talking about these games, talking about the people that make games of Bioware. And now that we have this new piece of information, I just want to go through, you know, my soul, how, how it affects you as a human being. Because I think Mass Effect affects us as human beings more than a lot of games and a lot of media. Uh, first off, everyone's going to say this, it's visually stunning. It provides us with a real view of what it's like to work in the Frostbite engine. All exciting like that. We see some pictures of what the Tempest will be, the new ship we're going to be on, arc ships that allow us to travel 2.5 trillion light years to the Andromeda Galaxy. We're getting some clues and thanks to the help of course by the uh, Bioware community, those clues will be turned to concrete information as they go frame by frame. When you keep looking we get to see new creatures uh, new combat, new ways of interacting with this new character, this rider, quote-unquote, in this uh, entire new galaxy. And also the Mako, of course, things that people really love. Visually, it's something that's compelling. If this was any other game, I could understand why awe-inspiring vistas, little views of behind characters, little teases of what this game would be with the combat would work, but... This is not like any other game, and maybe this is the fanboy in me speaking, but after seeing this trailer, I went from very excited to, to pretty worried. I'm worried that Bioware and EA are forgetting what the soul of Mass Effect is. You know, it, it's a game that allows you to do things you could never do in other worlds. It's a game that allows you to create your own type of narratives. It's a game that allows you to love different characters, really, truly, I think, better than any other game, but... Fundamentally, I think the soul of Mass Effect really is the idea that you can be fully immersed in a different world. Whether you are a one-armed uh, Quinari Inquisitor, uh, a dark Jedi, a, a Chinese Jade Empire style uh, protege, you get involved in that world because they're so, so great at informing us of all the little things around it that makes this world real. A lot of it has to do with the visual cues, a lot of it has to do with the technology behind it, but more of it has to do with the creation of narrative structures. We see and understand the stakes of who we are. We start to, bit by bit in these games, feel and understand more of the universe that we're interacting with and why we care about these characters. You know, seeing the back of a Krogan in this trailer and little bits of a Solarian, of course, that beautiful face of an Asari, doesn't mean anything yet because we don't know who they are. And we have no point of reference for any of this. And when we're just a few months out and we still don't understand any points of reference of really who these people are, when we have to put together the pieces so much it, it leaves me wanting. Like, I understand what it's like and the feelings that you have right now looking at these images that are so new and cannot wait until they become burned in our retinas from looking at them uh, consistently for thousands and thousands of hours. I'm, I'm excited at the prospect, but this is not how you entice people to get tattoos of Mass Effect. This is not how you entice people to name their kids after characters in this universe. I really think Bioware and EA missed an opportunity here. We needed to know more about these characters. We needed to see them in this environment so that we could get excited. Yes, you need to make sure that you contain hype. Yes, you need to make sure that you develop on something and pro make promises that you can deliver on. But this was more of a tech demo in a lot of ways. And this is E3, we can't just have a tech demo for the most complex narrative legacy in gaming. We need to know who these people are. So I, I thought that maybe this is just something Mass Effect um, and EA and Bioware does 
because you know we're, we're so involved right now it's hard to get perspective but I look back on a lot of the other game releases and the trailers and information they gave out pre-release I, I went back to Mass Effect 2 because I feel like that is very comparable to where Andromeda is going in terms of we need to bring fans back we need to make sure they care about us in the right way and we need to make sure that they're still involved in this character and you look at a lot of the trailers for Mass Effect 2 and you see the characters, You they tell you, they want you to be intrigued. We knew who Thane is, we know who the elusive man is. Hell, we even know that Shepard dies in the trailers leading up to this. What do we really know now about Mass Effect Andromeda? Besides the fact uh, that a lot of people have been able to look through code and, and you know use surveys to get information. We know that you're playing a character that's human, that you're an alien in a new galaxy and you're there to preserve the species. That doesn't mean anything when Aaron Flynn just tells us. That means something when we see the stakes of what that is for this character. Why does he have to do this? Give us just a little bit more. Gameplay isn't soul. And we don't have either of those, I think, in this trailer. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm very disappointed. But maybe I'm out of place here. You know, maybe I am completely in the minority. I'm being far too critical. This is just a game after all, but I think it's not. I, I think this is a very, very powerful method for looking at uh, the human experience. And Mass Effect Andromeda, this new trailer, did not give us the means to examine that human experience. So what did you guys think? I went on for a lot longer than I thought I would. This is gonna be uncut though. You're gonna hear all my jabbering. Am I wrong? Uh, please tell me. I'm going to look through the trailer with a big thanks, of course, to the Bioware community, the forums there. They're the ones, I think, that can make you still excited about this game. If you saw this uh, trailer and you're, you're waning a little bit, go to the forums. They'll go frame by frame and, and tell you why you should care. Uh, we probably won't hear anything more about this until later in the year. What do you guys think? You know, Am I wrong? Am I right? Can you commiserate or um, am I completely off my rocker? We'll see.